Hi, welcome in. Transformation. Let's go to God's word. The mind of sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the spirit is life and peace. Romans 8 verse 6. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans 12 verse 2. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. Romans 8, verses 26 to 27. As the Holy Spirit controls your mind and actions more fully, you become free in me. You are increasingly released to become the one I created you to be. Freedom through surrender sounds like a contradiction, doesn't it? Yet when my spirit is controlling your thinking and behavior, you feel more alive, more real, more content. I encourage you to pray, Holy Spirit, think through me, live through me, love through me. This is a prayer of surrender. Nonetheless, even though you may pray this way, your desire to be in control can sabotage you. In my kingdom, freedom comes from yielding to my perfect will. Because I am infinite and you are not, my will may appear to be anything but perfect. Still, I want you to trust me, even when you cannot understand what I'm doing. The Holy Spirit will help you in this as you invite him to control your thinking. He lives in depths of your spirit and knows you better than you know yourself. His work in you can liberate you to become more completely the one I designed you to be. I am pleased when you ask my spirit to live in love through you. This is the collaborative way of living I had in mind when I created mankind. The more you collaborate with him, the freer you become, free to live exuberantly, to love extravagantly, to know me in ever-increasing intimacy.